Hey, Eric here from Patch Foundry. I wanted to show you today a quick way to create a combination patch, meaning taking more than one instrument and playing at the same time and to split specific instruments in specific sections in Logic Pro. And it is possible to do this. I'm using right now Logic Studio 10 point six point something or other like that the latest version I'll show you how to make it happen go to new project or you can do any project really double click fire it up I'm going to select software instrument and then let's just pick two here we'll do a bass and a synth on the top so for the top one I'm going to do alchemy stereo I'll hit create creates my alchemy one. I'm going to name it. I'm also going to hit V to hide the plugin. Double tap here. Call it synth. How's that for creativity? Then I'm going to hit the plus button again. I'm going to tap here. I'm going to go to an oft overlooked and really cool little synth called the ESM. Hit mono. Hit create. And I'm going to select a preset here. Let's do dub bass. And again, I'm going to hit V to hide the plugin. I'm also using this little chain icon here. If I don't click this, when I click on another plugin, it'll come up in a separate window. But if I have this little one turn purple, when I click on another plugin, it automatically shows up and is linked. So I, I like using that. So two for one tutorial there for you. So I've got dub bass and I have synth. Now, here's the important part. There are two sections here on the left under region and track. And to get to this, you'll have to have this little eye icon or inspector up. So I'm gonna make sure that's up or you can hit I, which I'm a big fan of key commands. I'm gonna close the region or collapse it. You're gonna expand the track. And this is where it gets really important. So for the bass, I'm gonna, it says down here, key limit. If, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is set this key limit to a specific spot on my key bed where I want it to switch over to the synth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double tap here and I'm going to put in, let's go with, uh, let's do B2. So that will split it at B2 on the keyboard. I'll hit OK or return and that should enter that. Then I'm going to go up here to my synth and I'm going to select the lowest possible played key. And this one I'm going to do C3. I'm going to hit return uh, on the keyboard, and there we go. Now, I don't have a MIDI keyboard hooked up, but let's just check to make sure that this works. So I shouldn't be able to play anything lower than C3 here. Let's see here, and nothing, and there we go. Suddenly, right here at C3, it comes on. Same thing will happen with the dub bass. It should start on, or the last possible note it should be able to play is B2. Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Now, there's one problem still. I cannot play both of these at the same time. There's a very easy way to remedy that though. Just select by both, hold shift, and just tap on both, then hold control, and click on either one, and this sub menu will come up. Here, we're going to select something called Create Track Stack. When I do this, I'm going to set it as a summing stack. That means that the audio from both of these will go into one master bus, meaning I'll control the volume of both using just one slider here in just a second. So I'll hit Create. It's called Sum 1. I've done this enough times I've actually gotten the Sum 41, which is great for you early 2000 rock people. But that's not what we're going to call this. Again, I'm going to get creative and call this Patch. 
Woo! Now, when I play my keyboard, I should be able to trigger both. Perfect. Then I can make some adjustments between the balances here, like I want that bass a little more, synth a little less. Yeah, the balance is better, and if I use this, I can bring the whole thing up or down. And that's it. That's how you create a combination patch. Uh, you can do this with as many different patches as you want. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a neat way to manage your tracks. So also work in main stage as well. So you can export this patch by hitting, I believe if you tap under edit, I don't know, I'll have to check that later, but you can definitely export it and use it in main stage or reload it in different sections. And you can also collapse it. So there you go. Like I could name this for instance, song one. So this would be my patch for song one. And that's my tutorial. Keep checking back for more updates.